Hi, my name is Chris Heppy, and I'd like to welcome you to the Headwaters Forest Reserve and another episode of In the Field. As manager of the reserve, I work for the Bureau of Land Management in cooperation with the California Department of Fish and Game. I'm standing in the middle of the reserve here next to some trees that are over 300 feet tall and over 500 years old. Today I'd like to take you on a quick tour of the reserve, show you some of the natural and cultural features of the reserve, and how we manage this special place. Please join me. The reserve was established in 1999 thanks to the efforts of a lot of dedicated individuals and community members who worked hard to protect this place. The main reason it was protected is because of the old growth redwood habitat that exists here. Over 95% of the original range of old growth redwood has been harvested, so this type of habitat is very unique, particularly because it provides habitat for threatened species like the marble murrelet. About Another big part of our restoration program is to remove old abandoned logging roads. These roads were constructed originally for the logging operations, but when left alone, they pose an environmental hazard. They can fail, erode into the water courses, and really impact fish habitat. So this is an example of a, a logging road that used to go through this area. So this is the access point for the south end of the park, uh, the Salmon Pass Trailhead. Uh, it's open from May 15th through November 15th by reservation only for guided hikes. Uh, it's a terrific trail, two and a half miles, and passes through some really nice uh, old growth areas. We're now standing at the Elk River Trailhead. This is the main public access to the reserve. The trails open year round. Uh, the first mile is paved, so it's available to folks with uh, limited mobility. There are several interpretive signs about the natural and cultural history of the area. The first three miles go travel along the um, south fork of the Elk River, the Riparian Corridor. Then the trail ascends up for another couple miles into a real nice old growth grove of redwoods. So this is the Headwaters Education Center. Originally it was a train barn for the old uh, mill town of Falk, which existed here uh, between the 1880s and 1930s. It was a full thriving town with up to 400 people uh, that lived here at one, one time with a, a dance hall and a cookhouse and, and a railroad that ran along the corridor here and would take. Now the structure's been renovated. Uh, we're gonna be using it as our education center. I'd like to thank all the partners that help us manage the reserve, other organizations and agencies, and particularly the visitors who help take care of this place on a daily basis. And I'd like to thank you for joining me on this short tour of the Headwaters Forest Reserve and another edition of In the Field.